Mr. Chairman, and, and uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I would uh, also uh, ask that three documents uh, be entered uh, into the record without objection. Without objection. Uh, they uh, really lay the foundation for my question to, to Mr. Davidson. First uh, is a letter I sent with 19 of my House and Senate colleagues uh, asking for Secretary Ross to extend the public comment period uh, on an executive order regarding oil and production in marine sanctuaries and monuments. And second, it's a Department of Interior letter responding to a freedom of information request. And finally, the records turned over by the Interior as a result uh, of that uh, records uh, uh, request. So uh, those will be uh, in the record and we'll want to have a, a continued discussion with you, Mr. Davidson, uh, if uh, confirmed. And I enter these because I'd like you to look into something. Uh, the, the President has issued two executive orders that have over, overlapping uh, subject matter. One deals with national monuments both on land and in the ocean designated under the Antiquities Act, and the other deals with uh, marine national monuments and sanctuaries designated or expanded in the last 10 years. The uh, Federal Register notice for the Antiquities Act order explicitly told commentators not, not to comment twice uh, with these uh, uh, two actions. And I'm going to quote, the uh, Department of Commerce will receive a copy of and consider all public comments submitted during the Department of Interior's public comment period. Uh, and accordingly, I'm uh, skipping some lines here, accordingly identical or, subs uh, or similar comments submitted as part of the Department of Interior's public comment period should not be resubmitted to the Department of Commerce in response, that they would be forwarded on in a sense. Well, the public period comment for the Antiquities Act closed on July 10th. Uh, the Department of Interior received almost 1.5 million comments. But according to the spreadsheet provided in response to the FOIA request that I reference, Interior has shared only 494 of the 1.5 million uh, of those comments uh, with the Commerce Department. Uh, the comment period on marine monuments and sanctuaries uh, closes uh, today. Uh, but Mr. Davidson, would you agree uh, with me that either there's uh, been really a major uh, glitch here between the Interior Department and Commerce that needs absolute immediate attention given the short period of this comment, uh, or, uh, uh, or uh, that the public has been perhaps misled uh, that if you comment with one, it will be shared with the Department of, of Commerce. And this is very concerning because part of what the comments are is, uh, is to have public input uh, into this process. I can tell you from one of the sanctuaries that I have in Michigan that NOAA operates up in Thunder Bay, uh, that was done with incredible input from all of the stakeholders in the community. Uh, this executive order uh, uh, wants to know whether or not there was public input in this process, and yet they only gave 30 days for input. Uh, I've sent a letter asking for 90 days so that the public can, can uh, have comments on these sanctuaries, and now I find that uh, a very small, tiny fraction of the comments made have actually been forwarded to the Department of Commerce. Uh, I would certainly like to know um, how we will deal with this and how you think about this. Senator, thank you for that, and thank you for bringing that to my attention. Uh, I have to admit that I'm not familiar with the facts of either, either of these executive orders or the comment period, so I would be happy to look into that, um, and I share your views on the importance of transparency and public comment. Um, I think that information helps make better regulations and better laws, so I'm in, very much in favor of uh, making sure that all the comments are shared and everyone um, is able to address their concerns. I'd be happy to work with you on this issue going forward. Well, if confirmed, uh, I will uh, look forward to working closely with you to make sure that the public is heard. These are important assets for the country uh, and treasures for the na nation that we want to make sure the public is fully heard uh, on it. So I look forward to that. Yes, 